very impressive. Yeah. She must be talking to you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm just going to check my audios. Muriel, you're doing translation, is that right, today? Yeah, okay. I'll set you up. Yes, I am. Thank you. Good. Oh, you're going to translate from English to French, aren't you? Not French to English. <laughs> <laughs> from English to French, yes. <laughs> it was a trick question. <laughs> okay, and I don't know if Alexi's on tonight or not. I'm not sure if we've got any Russians on tonight. Um, I'm not sure about that. Maybe not. Don't know. I've got to wait and see. Okay. Checking my um my mic. Yeah, all good. So I think you're set up, Muriel, and um good. Just getting everything organized. Okay. Right. Okay. I don't think he's on. I don't think we have a Russian translator. I don't think we have any Russians on. <coughs> Hi, Luna. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Good to see you, beautiful. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. So we'll get started in a minute. I think we're all sort of here. Those who are with us. Welcome everyone. Welcome to our full moon healing. I'm going to sit down now and just uh, get myself organized. Okay. So I think mm -hmm. you get don't see me at all. <laughs> you see the top of my nose. There we go. I think that's a bit better. So you can see me. So we've got the full moon in Sagittarius today. So everyone can hear me. That's good. So just making sure we're fine. I haven't muted the mic. Good. So it's a very expansive sign to be in Sagittarius. And uh, it's a searching for meaning, which many of us are doing at the moment. It's a full moon that's really highlighting our belief systems. And it can certainly be a really good time to reflect on our beliefs and how well we are walking our talk. So somebody's just sent me a little message. If you've sent me a message, maybe you could unmute because I'm not at the computer. Uh, yeah. So okay. Uh, okay, just go. We're not doing questions today. I'm sorry, we won't be doing questions and answers today. I promise we'll do them next month. We'll do them next month and I'll ask everyone for questions. And uh, I saw your question, Jakar. Jaskara. Once again, just open your heart, be patient, be kind. That's really all you can do. Just hold the space for someone who's on their journey. That's all you can do. So, sorry for that interruption, but um, just coming back to beliefs and walking our talk, you know, the masters always say to us that it's a really good idea to review your belief systems every 12 months, to go down and just write down your beliefs about whatever 
and particularly anything that's affecting you and really have a look and ask yourself where these beliefs come from and do you really want to keep holding on to them the masters say that most of the beliefs are not our own we haven't chosen them they've been given to us we've taken them up from our childhood from our parents they've come from our peer group from our education from our community but they're not necessarily beliefs that we would choose for ourselves for the highest potential so it's a really wonderful thing to consider that and just go through and do a review of your beliefs and your attachments every six to 12 months and just throw out the ones that just don't serve you really get rid of them you don't need them the masters say that we can actually get rid of at least 85% of our, of our beliefs, so we don't need them. So this full moon is really challenging us to see the bigger picture in our lives and expand our awareness and sense of what is possible for ourselves and humanity. I always think of Sagittarian as the universal ray five consciousness, where we have the choice, you know, of being on the seesaw of are we going to sit in the lower mind or caught up in all the details, sweating the small stuff, trapped in all those little thoughts and beliefs, or are we going to sit on the other side of the seesaw and expand our consciousness and let go of all of those and open our perceptions a lot more to the greater universe and not just our small universe in which our lower mind sits. So it's very much that energy that's around us. Um, we have Saturn squaring both the sun and the moon at this time. And so we have that inner critic that comes up that can really, you know, that self-judgment that comes up, which we then often project on others. Saturn challenges us to take responsibility for whatever is causing us concern and sometimes calls for us to take action, even though we would rather not. And to look at what we're avoiding in our lives and what we really need to acknowledge and to take responsibility for. And it's so interesting that because a little while ago, I just pulled three cards as I always do for the full moon healing. And the first card that came up was Archangel Mikael, and it's all about trusting heaven or trusting the divine, trusting the universe to guide us, to bring to us what we need. So, you know, when you're walking your path, try not to ignore what the universe is bringing you. We sometimes are so attached to our minds and what it's telling us, but we're not watching what the universe is actually bringing to us and nor are we trusting it. So Archangel Mikael is saying, it's okay, trust the universe. You're safe with the universe. It will guide you and allow the universe to bring you the miracles, the experiences that you need in your life right now, whatever they may be. Sometimes they're challenges. Sometimes they're major times of expansion. The next card that came up was Commander Ashtar, and it's a call to action. So it's so interesting that the alignment between Saturn and the Sun and Jupiter are all calling to action at the moment. And in saying lead by example, walk your talk. So it's really interesting that the astrologers are saying walk your talk. Are you walking your talk? Commander Ashtar's asking you to walk your talk, calling you to action, saying time to walk your talk. Sometimes we do our spiritual path through our mind and we're not actually walking our talk but we're just talking our talk and the last one that came up the last card is charity charity for the month and it's all about prayer and contemplation so before you take action it's probably a really good idea to go into contemplation meditation prayer and receive connect with the divine connect with the universe receive what action you actually need to take and not be guided by your mind, but be guided by your heart consciousness, by your connection to the divine that centers you, expands you and guides you to take the steps you really need to take. So 
It's saying, you know, ask what you need to receive right now and it will come to you. And be conscious, be aware, watch what comes and let go of being in all the small detail of your mind that often blocks you from receiving that. Yeah. So before we go into this little healing meditation that's going to come through from the masters, I just want to remind everyone that for any light worker that really wants to walk their mission path, the path of the one heart is a very profound school. And in July, we have another path of the one heart starting up and there'll be another couple starting up through the year. So if you're really interested in doing this Yanitara work, light worker work, guided by the masters, and you really want to step deeply into spiritual work in some way, have a look at my website and look at the Path of the One Heart. It's the most profound training that I've brought through from the masters. Works with your energy bodies, aligns all the blueprints, the 12 blueprints of each energy body, works with your pillars, teaches you how to really anchor your mission work. Um, it's, you know, it's quite extraordinary. I was quite amazed when it came through from the masters. So it was a beautiful present or gift to me to bring this through a couple of years ago. And it is my last school, but it is the most profound school that I'm offering to students now. So if anyone's interested, um, please go and have a look. If it calls to you in some way, it needs to call to you. Your soul needs to hear the call. Okay, beautiful hearts. Let's see what the masters are going to bring to us today. Um, and I just have a feeling that I haven't pressed the record button and that would be not very nice for everybody. So I got it. Oh, it is. Is it recording? Nope, I don't know if it's recording. Oh, it is, which is very good. Sorry, I just thought there'd be some unhappy people. Thank you. So once more, just asking everyone to find a comfortable position. Center yourselves. Begin to drop from your minds, from your thoughts. And just drop into your heart center. That beautiful portal of consciousness that connects you to your being on all levels. And just allow your breath to take you there. As you breathe in deeply and expand your energy, with your out breath, just let your energy drop into the heart portal and to drop deeply into your being, deeply into your light being. So on the in breath, Allow that breath to expand you, to fill your cells, your molecules. And on the out breath, dropping deeper into that heart portal. And as you do that, let us call now to the Council of 33 Masters of Life asking them to come now to create a circle around each one of us, holding us, supporting us, guiding us, and sharing their life with us, their loving life. As we continue to breathe deeply, breathing in to expand our consciousness, to expand ourselves, to expand our being. Breathing out and letting ourselves drop deeper and deeper into that heart portal. 
becoming connected, becoming one with ourselves, with the light of all that we are. On every breath we breathe out, And as we breathe deeply, many circles of angelic beings of light come now. They come around us, honouring us, blessing us, sharing their light and their love with us, acknowledging the truth of our being as they honour us and bless us on our journeys of life. And as we continue to breathe, deeper still, breathing in to expand our being, breathing out to drop into the very core of all that we are. Breathing now deeply. I'm giving thanks now for all that we receive and the many light beings that are sharing their light with us at this time. As we honour the guardians of the land where we sit, honour them, give thanks to them. And let us call to Mother Earth now and ask her to hold us in her loving heart, to bless us, and let us open our hearts to receive the gifts and the love that she brings to us. And as we honour her, giving thanks for the air that we breathe, for the water that we drink, for the earth of her body that nourishes us, and from the fire of her belly that gives us strength. Let us give thanks. Beloved hearts, we are the Mary Magdalene that steps forward to you now. And we come to say to you, as you step and walk your path of life, Walk with love in your hearts. Choose to let go of your separations to yourselves, to each other. And simply walk with love in your hearts. Choose to let go of your judgments that create your separation. And simply walk with love in your heart. For Mother Earth is calling to you, each and every one, at this time now, 
to come into oneness of self. To feel the blessing of your self. No more to seek this from another, but to bless and honor yourselves. For in this, beloved Roth, you will begin to learn how to bless and honor each other. And this may only be done when you choose love over separation, when you choose to embrace what you do not understand, when you choose to accept that which you do not like, when you come into oneness of yourself on all levels, then dear ones, you will come into oneness with all. Letting go your separation, your separation to each other, your separation to Mother Earth, your separation to the oceans, to the animals, to all sentient beings. No more seeing your differences as your separation, but seeing your differences as the gifts that they are. And honoring these beloved thoughts, honoring these gifts. Opening your heart to the gifts that each sentient being brings you on this planet. But above all, beloved ones, to honor your own gifts that create you to be different to another. No longer seeing this as your separation but as your gift to honor the differences within you as the gift that you bring to all beings that you meet. For we say to you, beloved heart, it is only in this way of honoring the gifts that you hold that you will become whole, that you will manifest your purpose on earth, that you will share that which you have come to share with all others, not simply humanity, but with Mother Earth herself, with the trees, with the plants, with the animals, with the vast oceans. For only when you begin to honor your differences will you let go your need to destroy, to be destructive of self and of all others. So we come to you this day to begin to see it within your hearts and your minds. The loving consciousness that embraces all differences, honoring and accepting the right of every being to be different to you. For well, that is their gift. And to no more create separation with this, we say. And this is our focus for you in the coming weeks, beloved one. To begin 
to open your hearts more deeply to loving thyself, to no more see your differences as separation, to let go your judgments, and to honor that your differences to another are your greatest gifts, and to begin to embrace them, beloved heart. In love and energy, with an open heart. So, as we come to you, each one, we ask you to focus upon yourself, to focus upon your heart, to focus upon your differences, and to honor your differences. For until humanity has mastered their gifts, then you will always be at war with each other on so many levels. Beloved Tom. So as you breathe deeply, let yourself drop into your heart consciousness and begin to understand your differences, what you have judged as your separation to another, and to allow yourself to honor this as a gift that you hold. For it is unique to you, beloved ones. It is unique to you. It is as the sun is so different to the moon. Each one honoring the gift that they bring. For each one brings a gift, beloved hearts, of love, of love of life. And to see this within thyself and to honor this. And as you breathe now, the Kuan Yin steps to you and she begins to pour the golden Amrita of acceptance down through your chakra coffin, a golden liquid love light that will begin to move each of your chakras from the crown to the third eye, beloved heart, opening the third eye, opening your viewpoint as the gateway of your spirit begins to open so it may be more present in your lower body. And as you breathe, the Amrita, the golden love light, begins to flow to your throat, expanding the throat like an oil to the throat. Breathe it in, allow it to touch you, allow it to expand the energies of your throat, filled with love, filled with acceptance, beloved heart. And breathing down deeply, the Anrita of golden love light into your heart chakra. And as it flows and moves through the many levels of your heart chakra, breathe it in. Choose to do this, beloved one. And then allow it to flow through your heart chakra 
on all the levels and breathe. And as you do, the golden Amrita love light will flow down to the solar plexus and will bless and honor all of your emotions, all of your connections, beloved heart, all of your connections to those around you, all of your connections to all parts of you, through all time, space and dimension. Breathing, allow the golden love light to move through your solar plexus. Blessing, honoring. And breathing deeply now. Golden and Rita Lovela down into the Hara. Let it fill the Hara. And as it does, it will move through the bloodstream of your body, traveling through your veins, to your brain, to your feet, to your hands your heart. Breathe and allow it to flow, beloved one. Breathe and allow it to flow. Golden Amrita love that. Allow it to move through your physical body, through the blood. Touching you. Bringing all into unity, all into oneness, through loving consciousness. And as you breathe deeply, still beloved one, the golden Amrita love light begins to flow through the sacral chakra, moving through your creation center. Allow it to flood through any project, any creation that you are trying to manifest at this time. Let the golden love light feel this creation, let it spiral through your sacral, bringing oneness, bringing unity, breathing deeply. And as you breathe deeper still, beloved ones, the golden Amrita love light will begin now to drop into the base chakra. Breathe it in. Let it flow in your base chakra. Let it touch all family connections with its love light. So differences may be released and oneness may come. Breathing deeply now, beloved hearts, the Amrita love light drops now 
down to the earth star chakra under your feet, opening the gateway of your multidimensional consciousness, allowing the light of you to be more present, flowing, so that the light of you and the physicality of you are no longer separate but connected, honoring the differences of the physical and the light, knowing the wonders that it brings, beloved hearts, knowing that the oneness that it brings and allowing that oneness to flow through the earth star chakra beneath your feet, no longer seeing your physical self as so different and separate to your light spot. No separation between the two, only oneness, honoring the differences as the gifts that are held that bring oneness to all parts of you. Breathing deeply, we ask of you, allowing this golden Amrita love light to flow. And then breathing deeper still, as the golden Amrita love light drops down to the earth heart chakra of your being. And it begins to fill the earth's heart chakra, bringing golden love light, so that all separation to all living consciousness on Mother Earth is unified. Seeing the differences, not honoring that all differences are gifts, gifts of sharing, Gifts of love, gifts of knowledge, gifts of merchants, gifts of wisdom, gifts of understanding, gifts of challenges, all bring new consciousness to you. When you honor the gifts, beloved God, of all that you have held separate to you, Breathe and receive this golden Amrita love light from the blessed Kuan Yin and allow it to flow through you. And it will begin to flow around you, moving through all the seven low bodies, touching all with unity, honoring all and accepting all. A gentle flow of loving light that honors all that exists as divine. For all that exists comes from the divine. No matter what it has forgotten, no matter what it has become, deep within is the divine truth of all that is. Mary Sarah comes now, beloved her. And she begins to bring spirals of healing energy to flow down your spinal column. Rainbow colored spirals that flow down your spinal column, opening, expanding. Releasing, 
resistance to your differences, releasing resistance to letting go your judgments, releasing the differences that you hold in judgment to yourself and to others. Breathe and allow these rainbow colored healing spirals to flow through the spinal column, letting go, beloved heart, letting go. Manaki Ayatura Emma O Mahiatura Shayam Male Emu Leo Leo And as you breathe, beloved heart, the Lord Melchizedek steps forward to you. He comes and places a golden symbol of light at the back of your neck. He comes to tell you that your power lies not in control. Your power lies not in fear, being in fear or creating fear. Your power lies not in judgment. Each time that you trap yourself in this consciousness, you have no power. You become lost in this. He says to remember that your power comes from your divinity. It comes from your divine self. And only when you truly open to receive your connection to your divine self, do you step into your power. And as you breathe deeply, he activates this golden symbol. He says it will be different for each one of you, for it is a symbol connected to the presence of the divine within you, given to him to activate now at the base of your neck. that you may remember the divine that you are and seek out this consciousness of you in unity and in oneness through your loving heart, seeing not differences and separation, but seeing divine connection in oneness, in unity feeling embraced and as one. Beloved heart, always embraced and as one. This is his gift to you this day. He asks you to honor it. Blessed hearts, Lord Sananda comes now. He comes and places pure white energy around your feet to cleanse all the energy of your feet. 
so that when you step out anew, you will walk a path of newness, a new path, a new initiation of releasing all separation into one, honoring the divine within you and within each living being. And dear one, as he wraps your feet in pure white light, he brings the blue ray of loving consciousness and weaves it through the white light around your feet to support you to walk in love, to walk the path of love, no longer the path of separation. We ask you each to be conscious of this, to honor yourself, blessing yourself on this path of love. Embracing all that you are. Connecting to the divine truth of you. And breathing deeply now, beloved heart. Breathing deeply. And as you breathe, the angels of light come around you now. And the blessing from Divine Mother. They bring many flowers of light. And they bring a pool of light around you. A huge bubble of liquid light. And ask you simply to float within it. It is a cleansing light. A nourishing life, a supportive life. And in this bubble of liquid light, you are deeply honored. And in this moment, all your differences, all that you see as your separation to others, will become your greatest strength as it is honored and it is blessed. And you ask to see your gifts, to look not upon others to find them, for another cannot hold your gifts. They are held within each of you. Go within, dear heart, Connect with your gifts as you float in these bubbles of liquid light. And honor that which you are. See not separation in your field, but your oneness and unity with every part of you, shadow and light, small, large, Powerful, not so powerful. All the many, many parts of you. As you float within this bubble of liquid light, begin to honor and to bless all that you are. See your gifts. Honor them. And know that they have been given to you for a reason. To support you on this journey. And to share them with all sentient beings. In a state of oneness and unity. Breathe deeply of this beloved God. And know that you are held, that you are loved, 
that you are gifted. Shanoto, 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 And beloved heart, as you sit within this sacred liquid light, honor and accept the divine gift that you are. Begin to live this gift as your truth, for you have come with purpose, with mission. to support and assist all beings on the earth, beloved one, at this time of great change. And you are asked to honor your gifts without judgment, without separation, and to bring them forward lovingly with an open heart with a loving heart, with an open mind, with a loving mind, in full acceptance, dear ones, of that which you are. Remember that we walk with you on this journey as we share our gifts of loving light with you and with all sentient beings. We bless you, beloved Christ. We honor you this day. Blessed be. Blessed be all beings of the earth. Blessed be all beings of the earth. Blessed be all beings of the earth. May they all Embrace their gifts.
That seems as we won. Not so easy to move. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Good lovely in your day or your evening. <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful, huh? Yes. Oh, that's so beautiful, Josephine. Blessings to you, Josephine. You've been on my mind. I want to reach out to you. Blessings. Thank you, everyone. Josephine's in her garden, I can see. Beautiful. Okay. Blessings, lots of love. Thank you all so much. <laughs>